Hello, Asylumists, and welcome back to Penumbra Overture. A Hope everybody had a wonderful Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. We're just going to hop right back in. Audio and everything's working pretty well. So it said that there's something, could be anything down here with me. Why is my fucking thing jumping like that? Like, I just want to look around normally. That'd be great. It's brighter on the recording than it is in my game. So it's actually a lot darker than what you guys are seeing. What? Looks like there's still some juice left. Can I fucking take it? No. So we got, what do we got here? Office. Storage. Just have a look, see around, shall we? I'm sure there's nothing actually in here. Yet. Right? Can I change that? That's like... Controls. Yeah, my mouse sensitivity is a little fucking... A little wonky. That's better. Ugh. It's a little better anyway. It's like, it's a little jerky, can't, if you guys can see. It's a little jerky. Anyway. Okay, there's a leaning mechanic still. I'm gonna start using that. <coughs> so it said the office was over here. Right? What do we got in the office, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, it is a room that I physically have to go into. It's a bright room. Light! I miss being outside already. This place is starting to get to me, but even if I could reach that grate, it looks built into the rock itself. No way it's coming loose. Huh. Interesting. Strange, even. Yeah, perhaps I'll turn that back down. That mouse sensitivity is... Perhaps that was a bad idea. Keep that at one. So we got here, we got some beef jerky. Why do I need beef jerky? I mean, beef jerky, don't get me wrong, beef jerky is like one of my favorite foods, but I don't see why I'd need it in a video game that I don't have to eat and drink in. Do I have to eat and drink in this game? That's something that I have to do. Get some more batteries for the flashlight that I haven't been using. Oh, what's this? That's bright. A man. An old man. Clutching something unseen. He is strange, and yet he is no stranger. Never seen before, still I know, this man before me is Howard. I call him Father. Interesting. Ugh, what the hell? What just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Probably not, man, probably not. Let's, let's be honest. We got a key. Copenhagen Post, Monday, 17th of August, 1930. Psychotropic deposits at the bottom of death mine. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally sown into the rock may be the cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mine. The university, which has recently been conducting studies into isolated communities, first became interested in the workers of the Northwestern Lead Mine last year. They discovered that even taking into account Greenland's naturally higher suicide rate, local figures for the last 100 years were abnormally high, at 46 deaths per 100,000 populace, compared to the natural av national average of 29. On farther investigation, experts diagnosed in many of the miners symptoms in common with the early stages of paranoid schizophrenia. This has prompted researchers to hypothesize that natural deposits of lysergic 
or lysergic acid at or a pH 4 formula recently discovered to have hallucinogenic properties may be present in the rocks. Few locals were conductive to in, or conducive to interview, but those who agreed to speak had their own explanation. Inuit spirits, known as Terngate, live in the mountains. The university is awaiting result of chemical testing. Studies continue. Interesting. And we have this book here. 15th of August, 1945, Command Bunker Emergency Airstrip Zulu Weekly Report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received. Standard emergency drills carried out. Routine runway maintenance completed. I have ordered maintenance be carried out twice weekly from here on due to increased snowfall. One wounded. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern. Back in London, the Germans haven't extended their front line by 4,000 miles. Two of my men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop slash armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple of fingers. I take partial responsibility for this and that I allowed them to access the two... Oh, God, I'm, I'm going to have a... I'm having dyslexia moment right now. In that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual we keep in the storeroom, and I'm sure that that's where they learnt the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I have now locked up that manual in the chest in my office and will keep the key on my person at all times. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him to stay out here, but the matter is out of my hands. This base is so disconnected, sometimes I feel as if this war could end, and we might not even hear about it out here. Supply requisitions order. Dynamite for excavation purposes. Seven bayonets. Not necessarily, not necessary in my opinion, but procedure states we should have a full complement. One industrial ice pick for removing the damn ice that forms on the external hatch. You mean the one that I had to use a rock to break and y'all are trying to order an ice pick instead of picking up a rock? One pair of reading glasses, category 7C, an order for myself. My glasses are in a rather poor state of repair and could do with replacing. Reconditioning of the mine continues to progress. The structure is being fortified from potential bomb damage and excavation of previously caved in areas is going ahead. One point of curiosity is some kind of archeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams. Later this evening, after martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and see if I can't discover the source of light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M. Major. Dope. Dope. We got so much history in this place, tied up in words and left to decompose. No, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to exit the dialogue. Uh, is there anything else in here? There is. Locked and I need a key. I have a key. What's this? Big Book of Explosives, the 1923 edition. Chapter 1.3, Black Max Fuse. The Black Max Fuse is one of the oldest, simplest, and most reliable fuses used in modern pyrotechnics. It is easy to create, essentially consisting of just string and gunpowder. But be warned, the chemicals concerned will stain clothing. And as always, do concern is advised. Materials required. String, preferably cotton. Black gunpowder and Baxtrin. The string should be coated in a thin layer of Baxtrin, which acts as an adhesive. The string is then carefully rolled in the gunpowder and left to dry at least a couple of minutes <laughs> before use. Chapter 2.1 Dynamite. I'm not going to read all these. Yeah, it's just, it's just instructions on explosives. What's this? Painkillers. Well, I'm, I'm as fit as can be expected. Is that more beef jerky? Interesting. Have I searched everything that... Oh, 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 a flare! Okay, go. Back out to the cave. Need to hide. Hide where? Right here. Is this a good hiding spot? Do I still have my hammer? Can I use my hammer to defend myself? 
Can I put things up here? I can. Why is my... Hold on. Hold on a minute. Game. No, no, no. That sensitivity is abysmal. Yeah, that's better right there. I can't put things up here, so... That sounds like a dog. If Is that just a dog? If that's just a dog, I'm like, I'm gonna go out... I apologize to the animal lovers, but I'm just gonna have to go out there swinging, aren't I? Can I peek? Can I gonna, like... Can I, like, peek? There's nothing here. I hear it. Is that what that's for, or did I just waste that? Am I being big brain right now, or am I being an idiot? <laughs> that sounded like it was behind me. Oh, oh perfect, perfect, perfect. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Close. That was. Where am I supposed to be hiding? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Huh? Like I'm hearing this thing all over the place. Did I just see something at the end of that hallway? I don't know. It sounds like it's around every corner. Where is this thing? What is this thing? I can't even listen to the audio. Is it in the walls? Bro, I don't know, man. Uh, bro, the fact that I can't, whatever's making that noise, I can't see. 
concerns me even more. Killers. So, I'm starting to get the feeling that whatever is in here with me is deaf, blind, or stupid. Going this way. I'm gonna go around this way. Because I'm not hearing anything anymore. And just in case, I got my hammer. In case I can defend myself. Not sure if I can. Is there anything in here with me? Like, I've seen nothing! <laughs> I've seen absolutely nothing! So I guess that means I'm safe to go... Well, actually... Yeah, I guess this means I'm safe to go this way and collect what I've thrown. That leads back to the where I was. So this would be the storage area over here, right? Is there anything over there? Uh Um I'm very, very confused. Like at this point, I just want to find what's making this sound. I'm curious now because nothing's happened. I hear it. Like I hear something. here with some kind of demon that doesn't even like to eat meat. Why do I, like... It sounds like a dog, though, but there's nothing at all in here. There's nothing in here with me. Huh. 
There's legit nothing in here with me. No, I, there's nothing in here with me. They were faking me out. They were faking me out. There's nothing in here with me. Actually, maybe. Wait a minute. There was nothing in here with what? What was I so afraid of? I'm going in here. There was nothing in here. Oh, I don't like that. Ah. Open up! Anyway. Lighter plus fuel equal... Torque. Spiders equal no good, obviously. Wait, there's more. They show some kind of crap door, but I can't see where it would be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three rocks, three barrels. Do, 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 do. Yeah, something. There's a crap door in there. You're still in there. Just gotta make sure that's locked. Okay. Can I grab the lighter, please? Thank you. Okay, you get some more painkillers. Put them in my six bar and not use them. So what's this say? It was different, but the same. That time, like, I had more control. But over what? So there's a trap door under this, because it, the symbol on the wall... I'm gonna put it in front of the fucking door. Oh, fuck no. <laughs> okay, and that was a save point right there. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Thank you, Asylumists, for all watching. If you enjoyed your stay in, my dark, in the dark depths of my asylum today, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with some amnesia, the great work, and with some dead space. I'll see you tomorrow.